Great to have the three-time champion Larry Dixon back this year. Teamed up with Australian Santo Rapasarda to compete in a limited schedule of events, both here in the U.S. as well as in Rapasarda Racing's native country. Well, the first of those was Easter weekend. Watch the right side of your screen. That is when Larry Dixon took a literal and figurative spin down under. That video is the subject of this week's Traxxas Extreme Power Session. Well, the very first hit of the throttle for Larry Dixon down at Willow Bank Raceway outside of Brisbane, the rear axle brakes, and when that happened, it allowed that left rear tire to come off of the car and sent the car left towards the wall. Now, it was pretty amazing that the car did not hit the wall, did a complete 360-degree spin. The panel came up to where Larry couldn't see. At this point, he was just hanging on, but then the panel comes down, and he was actually able to drive the car. I was able to actually sit down with Larry. We talked about exactly what happened in this exciting event. You know, I left the starting line. It kicked the front end up a little bit. I mean, everything felt good. And then the car just started to free up a little bit. Like, it was, it was spinning the tire. So, I, you know, I got off the throttle, and that's when everything happened. You know, and then the car started whipping around, and I thought I had blown a tire or something just because of the way you know I've never had a tire come off or anything like that and then the car it just got it and it instantly whipped me around and then all of a sudden you know I'm squared back up going down the track it's like, you know steered it back in my lane and I didn't have brakes because you know the, the wheel was gone didn't know why and it was to get the chutes out and get the fuel shut off and get this thing stopped and it, you know the, the other thing that's going through your mind at the same time is like wow came halfway across the world my first hit, and this is it. Like I'm going to be done for the weekend. So that was, uh, it was really disappointing at that at that point. Just you know, a lot of things running through your mind, and then uh, you know, fortunately, we were you know, able to come back. And boy, did he come back! After a checkout pass, he was able to come back the next day and run the quickest run in Australian drag racing history, a 4:50 elapsed time in the quarter mile, and was able to come back and back that up for the Australian national record.